Michael Bloom of the agency in Calabasas. Um, been asked by lots of people, hey, well, what really goes on inside these gates? I know it's very exclusive and very hard to get in. And today we're gonna have a one-time opportunity to see what's inside these wonderful gates. So here we're standing at the Long Valley Gate. This is the main gate, and it comes really off the 101 freeway. You get off Valley Circle exit, and you have access to this main gate. So this is the Long Valley Gate. There are two other gates. There's a gate off of Burbank Boulevard, and there's also a gate right off of Moreau Road near Round Meadow Elementary School. So this is a very unique place in that you have three gates and easy access. Saddle Creek Arena and Grass Area. It's right off the Long Valley Gate. Uh, as you can see, it's a wonderful green belt for soccer practice and baseball practice. We've had winter socials here. We've had uh, summer uh, gatherings. Uh, so all the residents can come here. It's a huge, vast space. We have plenty of elbow room. And if you look further, we're gonna go to the two horse arenas, which is what we do gymkanas here. So there's events, horse events. And this is another wonderful amenity of, of uh, Hidden Hills is to have something this beautiful in, uh, open to everyone in the community. So um, here we are, we're at the Saddle Creek Arena. This is one of three arenas that we're gonna visit uh, on our tour today. So here we are, this is a great example of a farmhouse, brand new construction. Uh, there was an older home, uh, which was demoed, bought for $3 million, which is basically land value only. And now you can see what is being built. Uh, price range about $15 to $2,000 per square foot. They are being pumped out by developers and there are uh, many on the market for sale. So, uh, here we are. It's, uh, these are one of the trails of Hidden Hills. Um, this is, these are kind of secrets in that there's 36 miles of them in Hidden Hills, and I think they're unknown to people. They don't realize that it's not just houses. You have elbow room here with trails like this where you can bring your horses, you can come with your children, you could walk your stroller. Uh, you have just huge amounts of trails throughout Hidden Hills, and this truly separates us from other communities. Here we are at the community center. This is right on Long Valley, right in the main gates, right before Round Meadow. Um, there, there's an Olympic size pool here. There's two tennis courts. There's a recreation room where they do mommy and me classes. There's a theater where the kids are able to put on productions. The adults actually do productions there as well. We hold barbecues here in the summer. We hold winter gatherings in the winter. In the spring, we have a new residence party. So all the activity and, and is, is right here. This is really the focal point. What's coming up, what's very of real interest is at the end of the month, we have what's called the Fiesta. And the Fiesta is a three-day event, and it really starts on, sat on Friday night, but on Saturday morning, there's a parade that starts at Round Meadow all the way, and we'll get there, and comes all the way and ends at the community center where all the kids and adults have put on floats, 
And so they have floats, there's horses, there's bands from other uh, local high schools, and it's a big celebration. There's a grand marshal. It's always our big celebration. And obviously with COVID, we weren't able to have it last year, but we're excited to have it this year. And so again, here we are at the community center, and this is really one uh, huge advantage of being in Hidden Hills. And it's, it's a lifestyle. You get to know your neighbors. I mean, these barbecues, you, you have people come from all over the neighborhood and it's a wonderful place where people know themselves, know each other. This is an example of what a complete, uh, when you basically flatten a home and make a new home, but friends of mine used to live here. But anyway, this is an example of a modern home that occurs a lot in Hidden Hills where you have an old home, it's uh, basically bulldozed and something like this is put up with about 10, 12,000 feet, uh, many bedrooms, over an acre lot, and it sell, that's one sold for over 10 million, which is exactly what happened. This, this house was listed, sold for 4.1 million, and uh, now this is what's happened. They are in the middle of uh, knocking it down completely and they will put up a, a brand new build uh, and they will look to get about, they will try to fetch between 10 and $11 million uh, for this. Go the very next house, actually this one sold for uh, 3750 um, and this has been approved as you can see, there's big uh, So here we are at the Spring Valley Arena. Uh, this is right below the Burbank Gate. The city uh, hall is right there. Uh, look how massive this is. We were over at the Spring, uh, at, at the Saddle Creek Arena, but look at this the size. Uh, it's massive. They have pony rides for, for the kids, they have big Chimkana events. Um, at the end of the month, we talked about the Fiesta, but the big main event will be here There'll be the, all of the dining will be there. All the rides will be there. Um, again, it's another hidden gem. I don't think people understand uh, when you buy a home in here that you not only have your home in an acre of land, you have uh, access to three arenas and um, this being the big one, uh, the Saddle Creek Arena. Um, and uh, so very happy to show it to you today. This last weekend, I had a match. I was in the tournament and we play, played one of my friends and it was really fun. So they put on tennis tournaments, uh, really to get community involvement. And I think that's really another thing that really separates us is to that you get to really know your neighbor. Pretty much, it's pretty hard to get anything nicer than, than these tennis courts. Um, they're lush and they're out of the way and uh, it's very peaceful here, so, um, and competitive as you can hear. So we are competitive, we try to be peaceful, and we try to uh, keep our calm. Um, but I, again, I, I, th this is, I would say, this is my happy place. Um, sometimes the, the match goes my way, sometimes it goes the other way, but I can tell you this, we have a lot of fun and we can, you, as you can come on in here, you can see how beautiful it is. It's uh, just so lush and, and uh, you know, it's, it's not like, I love the other course, don't get me wrong, but there's nothing like this lush environment here. And usually it's a little cooler down here. So um, again, I, I'm glad to bring you to my, one of my favorite places in Hidden Hills. And this is the Burbank Tennis Courts. Uh, Uh, here we are at the end of Long Valley Road, and Long Valley actually dead ends here at Amundsen Ranch. It is, uh, you can hike, you can horseback ride, you can walk your dog. Uh, everyone in the neighborhood knows about this. It's 70 miles of open trails that lead all the way to Agora, Moor Park, Simi, um, comes through to Valley Circle and Victory. Uh, so it's, it's really a, a place that people meet up. 
I have a friend that meet up uh, at 830 on Sunday for bike rides. So about six, eight months ago, we had goats out here clearing brush and it was really something to see all the goats. The kids in the neighborhood were able to come and play with the baby goats. Uh, you can just imagine if you had the whole the whole of Amundsen filled with goats, but it was certainly a, a spectacle and um, yeah, you know, they, they did do their job. So this home right here, 24760 uh, Long Valley, just went into escrow for $11.5 million. So, and it was a tough one because it was on the market for over a year, uh, but there you go, something for $11.5 million, selling uh, probably about a 10,000 foot uh, home, six, seven, eight bedrooms uh, on about an acre and a half. Uh, went into escrow last week. It happens to be my family. Well, I grew up on this road, but anyway, this has turned into um, Halloween Mardi Gras. Uh, we have, uh, you know, there can be 500 to 1,000 people on this road on Halloween night. It just becomes wild. And uh, so we really are excited about another one. I, I always look forward to Halloween night here. This is where everybody congregates. This is Angel and the dog walker at Hidden Hills. Um, he's got many, many households. This is just a, he's a staple of Hidden Hills. It's just like a, an example of uh, what how special the community is. Right is the middle school, and that's down right off of Malibu Canyon, probably about a mile and a half, maybe three, three to five miles from here. But the kids take the bus and they meet the bus right here. So we're going to be stopping at this bus stop. Um, they recently redid it, uh, so it's in great shape, uh, but the exact location is exactly the same. And this was this has been around ground since the 1960s. Hey, thanks everybody for uh, being with me and allowing me to show you Hidden Hills a tour. Uh, it was a real pleasure. I got to go now. I have a showing here in Hidden Hills. But feel free to get, reach out to me. It's uh, Michael at michaelbloomhomes.com or 818-207-2088. Take care.